Hello everyone, welcome back to my completionist farm. We're going to pick it up right where we left off and right now I can't remember where that is because it's been a few days since I played this one. So it'll take me a few minutes to figure it all out. In the meantime I'm going to pick everything that's ready. I've already gotten three gold parsnips which is perfect because I needed I believe two more so I've got my quality parsnip thing for my bundle in the community center. And seeing as it's already the 26th of spring, I need to get going on smelting some bars so I can make some sprinklers for summer. So that's going to be big on my agenda for the next day or two. Another thing I'm going to do over the next few days is make a few more chests and organize them into categories as a few people have suggested because right now I can't find anything and it's really hard to figure out what I was doing in the last video when all my stuff is such a mess. Right now I'm going to go do some foraging, go do the loop to the south and see what I can find and then work my way back and cut down some trees to make some more chests. Stopping by the traveling merchant today, she has a battery pack for sale. Only 1500 gold since I have so much gold right now I'm going to go ahead and buy that because I think that's going to come in handy sooner than later otherwise it might be a while before I can even get one. She does have a few other things, nothing that I feel are going to be of immense value right now. Maybe the duck mayonnaise but I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Also today I think I'm going to make a tapper or two seeing as I have the hardwood available to me so those will only make me money and get me some items for the community center so I might as well get those started. And I'm going to take a look at the secret woods while I'm here because I believe my copper axe will grant me access to that. I can never remember which axe you need, it might actually be the iron axe. Yep, I just confirmed it's the iron axe. If you have the copper axe, don't waste your time. Especially not if you're recording a video. Right now then, I will head to the beach and then circle my way back to the farm to start organizing and do all the stuff I already forgot I said I was going to do. My main concern really at this point is making sure I've got everything I can do this spring done. That way I don't have to do it next spring, which is a full year away. Not sure what it's been about today, but there are forgeable goods all over the place. This beach is definitely full of these things and the woods had all sorts of stuff, so it's either a good luck day or just a good luck day for real. And because it's Friday today, everyone should be at the saloon later on, so I'm going to stop by there with whatever gifts I need and hopefully make friends with a whole bunch of people all at once. Birthdays today. Today is Pierre's birthday. Tomorrow is Emily's birthday. Neither people I'm really concerned about at this point. I'm going to focus on the others for now and get to those people at a later date. Pierre I see all the time anyway because I'm always buying seeds. So for the next little while I'm basically going to be smelting ore and cutting wood in my farm. I need the wood for a few more chests. I think I'm going to go with five chests. I can probably make that work for now and just keep smelting ore because I really need those sprinklers. Okay, just after 7 p.m. my bins are all nicely organized. Green for forageable, red for crops and farming accessories, yellow for miscellaneous mostly garbage stuff, blue is for mining related stuff, and whatever color that is is artifacts, things I can donate, and tools. And this will hopefully help me keep things organized as long as I personally do keep it organized. Now I'm simply going to go to the saloon, give the people whatever they want, and then come back and continue smelting until I pass right out. Looking at my list, I've given presents to mostly everyone I'm worried about. Abigail is standing right beside me currently, so she's going to get a parsnip. No, it's too late, she got away. I will give Shane a salmon berry though, I believe he likes those. Here you go Shane, one favorite present, and I hope to wear your skin one day. We'll go talk to Leah and see how she's doing. I believe you get a little bit of friendship points just for talking. And that about covers everyone for gifts this week. So I'm going to go put some more stuff in the furnace, probably the iron because it takes longer, and then go donate anything I can to the community center while I'm thinking about it to help keep me updated on everything I need to do. I may have to go to the mines tomorrow to gather some more ore and smelt some more. I'm a little worried about the amount of sprinklers I'm going to get. I don't think I need to plant my giant crop of blueberries for a few days into summer but that's still not that far away and I want to be sure to get as many of those as I can fit because once those are done I have all the money I need to do to do other things. Thanks to my adventures into mine I do already have one of the winter foraging bundles so that's a way ahead of schedule. Not that that makes a big deal. I just noticed I still need a chub for one of my, I believe it's a research bundle, so I want to catch that. I don't know if you can catch them outside of spring, so in the next day or two I need a chub. There's the quality crops for spring done. I need melons, I already have some of those seeds, so I'm already going to get started on that for summer. See how those go. That's going to be it for this day. Tomorrow I might need to make another furnace to catch up with my smelting schedule. 
actually made quite a bit of money, 1720 gold for the day. A lot of foraging, like I said, it was just everything was everywhere. So if that keeps up, I would be very happy. 27th already today, so flip the furnace. I gotta water what few things I still need to water in my field. Then I'm going to try and catch a chub and then do some mining because I need some more ore. And I just remembered my pick is at the blacksmith so I can't go mining until 9am. So in the meantime, I'm gonna try and catch a chub. That actually works out not too bad. I actually just looked into it. The chub can be caught in the mountain lake and river in all seasons so that's not actually a big deal. I'm just simply gonna go fish in the river right by the blacksmith for now anyway for something to do. 9am, the blacksmith is open. I've caught two smallmouth bass and one bait. Now straight to the mines to pick up on whatever floor I left off on. I can't even remember, I was getting down there a little ways. Iron is my main thing I want today. Hopefully I find some copper along the way too because that never hurts, especially if I want to make another furnace. Floor 60, 10am on the nose. So I've hit floor 65, it is 5.30, it is slow progress today, so I think what I'm going to do is keep going back to floor 61 again and again, taking whatever iron is on that floor and then repeating the whole process again because I need the iron a lot more than I need the progress downwards. Okay, it is just about 11 a.m. By that I mean p.m. and I had a not bad day at the mines. Here's what I got, a diamond. 40 iron and 13 copper. Not as good as I hoped I would do, but regardless, I'm going to make another furnace to catch up on smelting and maybe spend some more time at the mines tomorrow if I have to. Okay, my second furnace is created and going with iron. So I'm off to bed to see if I made any money today during my mining adventure. I feel like I had to have made something. Mining has at least leveled up. Pickaxe proficiency never hurts. That's less energy I need. Combat also leveled up and money. I sold at least one diamond, so a total of 1629 gold. That's what everything's worth. These were all spare parts. On to the next day. Today is Sunday, which is the last day of spring, and of course I need a recipe because it is Sunday. Today we get an omelette. One day we will make that when we have a kitchen. Until then, we will ignore it. I just need to water my two ancient seeds at this point, so that's nice and easy. So far I have 10 iron bars, which means 10 sprinklers as long as they have the copper bars to match. That shouldn't be a problem. So today I'm going to do maybe a little bit of foraging and then go to the mines to continue just gathering ore as fast as I can. Today is Sunday too, the first day of the week, but I'm going to ignore everyone's gifts for now because I still have all week to get them to them and it's never a big problem to get them all their gifts within the one week time limit. Some people may get flowers, however, seeing as I just found them along the way and might as well give them to someone instead of waste them. I just wanted to cross Pierre's store to see if there's any quests available. There is not. So I'm off to the mines, hopefully to find lots of ore. Same strategy as yesterday, at least to start. Keep coming to floor 61 again and again. It always has at least one piece of iron on it. And sometimes other things like the frozen tier. Can't remember how much they're worth, but that's just free money. I've just gotten up to 60 iron, which should make another 12 sprinklers by my count, so that should be about as many as I can feasibly do by the time I start my summer crops anyway, so I'm going to start on copper now for a little bit. Hopefully I can get a matching number of copper, it should not be a problem. Okay, 8pm and I'm up to a total of 130 copper now, so that should be enough to balance out the iron and copper bars by the time they're all smelted, hopefully. Either way, I'm pretty much just going to roll with what I've got because I don't want a big ridiculous crop anyway that would take time away from all this other stuff I have to do. I'm going to swing by the community center real quick because I got a mushroom and an earth crystal which I need for a few random bundles there. And also an aquamarine that I forgot I needed so that's just one step closer. And I forgot that I also found a crystal fruit in the frozen levels so that is another item. That's four items for the community center in one day when I wasn't even trying. So as long as I'm paying attention this will all be quite easy. With the little bit of time I have left, I'm simply going to cut down some trees because I think I'm going to need it to make a few more scarecrows for tomorrow. Okay, got that stuff over with. Now I don't have to worry about donating those items anymore. 940, so I have time to hopefully get a few more bars out of those furnaces and organize the rest of my crap back into their bins. Even if not, it's just experience towards foraging and wood collection. I said I was going to make those tappers for the trees. I didn't get time yet, and I will start those in summer apparently. So now that it's just about 1am, I'm going to call it a day once I touch my dog, and then on to summer. 
not as much money today. That's because I was focusing on getting the ore I wanted. Still a little bit, so I won't complain. On to summer where we can make more progress. But that's going to be where I end this video. I would certainly like some help on how to get started in summer. There's all sorts of new things to do already, so I'm feeling overwhelmed before I've even thought about it. So I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching.